Hi guys, it's Diesel Johnny Boy here. Um, just want to do a short video about my little um, Villiers Midget engine, the little two-stroke 98cc engine. These engines were fitted to whew, dozens of different um, bits of equipment in the 50s and 60s. Um, typical applications were small lawn mowers and even little generators and Ransom's Vibra who used one little rotavator so anything that needed quite um, a little compact engine with quite a low power output but it gave quite a lot of punch for its diminutive size um because it's a two straight you've got it's firing on every cylinder but my one my particular model here was off a um it's off a 14 inch atco mower and it dates from 1956-57 now I've got the usual problems with this little engine is that we lost the spark so um, I just want to say thank you to two guys actually on YouTube there's Make Do and Mend and NP Mac who've done some good video far better than the ones I do I can't edit things so you get the raw the raw video from me about how to do coil changes and adapt coils to fit various types of Villiers engine so this little engine I'd had for years and years it sat around and it lost its spark and I couldn't be bothered to, to muck around with it to be honest but it recently resurfaced in a, in, in a, in a clear out and I thought oh I forgot all about that little atco so I thought yeah let's have a go at it and see if we can, we can get it going so things have moved on since then and you can now buy these coils because before the coils there's the genuine Villiers coil. Now uh, these cost about £60 plus VAT I think they are which sort of kind of rendered these the sort of restoration sort of not worth doing really. Now there is a problem with sizes as you can see that one is far far longer the core also sticks out the little round locators which clamp into the ears far longer but but as MP Mac pointed out you can do it you can do it <coughs> um, so with a bit of um, fiddling around you can adapt these because the original videos have got a pad here I'll just show you what I mean so you've got here here's the HT Lee which screws in there nearly all videos engines use this system oh, I can just, if, if you see that it didn't quite go in but anyway look what I've done is when you buy these coils there's no pad there for your um, HT lead your little uh, contact to touch so what I've done is MP Mac showed how you do this is you get a little piece of copper you can buy copper I've bought a strip here off eBay so cut a little piece of copper off shape it round I actually punched a hole in the top part of the copper which you can see where they where the weld is I'll just get my arm um, here we go here I punched a little hole in the copper because it's like a little tab with a hole in it that sticks out and then I just located the copper over that made sure the copper was long enough so the contact will hit it and screw into it and touch it and then solder it gently on there. I've got a piece of cardboard behind there to help protect the coil because obviously coils are very sensitive. I don't know, these probably aren't as good quality as the um, Villiers ones, but anyway, I've welded it on, um, soldered it on with a bit of solder and it's all located nicely. And when you screw the, um, screw the uh, little uh, contact in, it's like this is a sprung loaded one. Some of them have got like, um, carbon little carbon things that they use to transmit the, the voltage the plug carbon rods this one's got the uh, the metal version so yeah and then that all locates you now these are the ears that hold the coils the coil into the back plate now I've only got one securing it they're secured on the other side with one grub screw this one's floating but it seems quite secure you've got two screws at the back just 
Okay, unwrap. You can see they're secured, two secured there, two secured there. Those screws are very tight. I managed to get them out, but it's a bit of a faff because basically to get to that you either take the back plate off, which has got two screws, and one there and one on opposite it, there are two screws sighted in. You can take the back plate off or you can take the barrel off. So I decided to take the barrel off because this engine has probably never really touched since it came out of the factory. So I thought I'd give it a, give it a good decope at the same time. So that is what I did. I chose to take the barrel off. There it is. Um, give it a good clean. It wasn't too bad. It the usual sort of carbon deposit. So taking the piston rings off, give them a good clean. It probably could benefit from a new set of rings as it is. They exceeded the, th there's a, I think the video's manual says 30 thou, if it exceeds 30 thou, once you put the, you put the, uh, take the ring off, and put one down in the barrel, slide a ring down in the barrel, and you can test it with a feeler gauge, see what it is. I, I did have about 30 thou, so it probably could benefit from a new set of rings, but it's not worth it for what I'm doing. It's only going to be a bit of use occasionally, start up a bit of fun. So it was running intermittently before before the coil completely went on it. So um, that's really good news. So yeah, I mean these little these little videos and these are so simple. It's amazing. Now there's the sorry there's the other lead that goes on there. It's like a screw on the coil. You just um, solder your your wire that goes to the points. You can test obviously the coil's condition with a a meter. Um, one of these little simple meters, this one came from Wix. To test the resistance of the coil, you've got to put it onto you see that onto that that shows the, the the resistance side, which is the on side. I put it onto 20. And then you can test, you can put one of your leads, I can't really do it because I'm holding the camera, put one of your leads to earth and one of your other ones on the um, the output of the coil and that should read around about five when you've got it set on the um, the 20 range. Now if you've got five then you should be fine, it'll be okay. Obviously this one was dud and it's, uh, it's an open circuit, the copper windings have broken down, it's 60 years old so that's not surprising really. I don't know the quality of these Taiwanese ones, but I know this one cost £23 including postage. This would have been £60 plus VAT, so I think it should be okay for what we're doing anyway. Um, <clears throat> here's the carburetor. I love these little engines, they're, they're so simple. And robust and look at that carburetor it's got virtually no moving parts you've got the sliding sliding what's it thing me i don't know what you call it you've got a, like a tickler there it's just got the needle valve and the float and that's that's what operates the throttle in there it slides in there and lets more mixture in it's got a simple air filter like a tea strainer and that's the choke it's like a little flap that covers it strangles off the air and right there it is, it's so simple. And um, the main bearings on this are just like um, brass bushes. I mean, I had no play in these. I couldn't get any, any significant movement on either end. And the big ends, they're okay too. Yeah, I mean, it's a cute little engine, it's just, there's so many of these around and a lot of people overlook them as just being well, boring little videos, two stroke, but I think they're quite quite a nice introduction to to this sort of work and uh, if you see one lying around sometime, I mean this one, this myrrh was found at a dump some years back, I thought I was going to throw it in the skip, <coughs> excuse me, and I said oh I'll take that, so that's how I ended up with it, and years later hopefully I'm going to Give it going again. I painted the frame up of the mower and uh, yeah, I should be able to get it back together soon. 
anyway so like I say thanks to um, make do and land and NP Mac for showing me the way with the coil I appreciate your guys time in doing these videos and I hope some of them get a bit of information out of mine as well and uh, yeah great any comments uh, just make a you know, just contact me and make a message at the bottom or whatever and uh, brilliant and uh, have fun with all your engines and I'll um, catch you guys next time take care cheers